Hello everybody, it's me, Bo Chevisu. I have installed a lot of bidet toilet seats, so I am going to show you exactly from step one all the way to step six, how to install your own bidet. And this specifically is the Luxie, Luxe, I don't know how it's pronounced, but this bidet is fairly intuitive to put together. First thing you're gonna do, turn off the water supply and then take the toilet seat off. You're going to take your bidet and you're going to set it right onto there, aligning it with the holes. Now, a tip that I like to pass on to my fans is you try to situate this as far back as possible, but without actually hitting it. So you kind of want to go back till it hits and then bring it forward a little bit. Does that make sense? And then you're going to rotate these two discs, this one and the other one, until they align with the holes. Also, really make sure that this is right in the middle of your toilet because nothing is more awkward than a bidet operating at a slight angle and you sort of have to shift in order to make sure it is targeting correctly. Does that make sense? So really make sure it's symmetrical. Now you're going to put the entire toilet seat back on with the existing bolts. You will notice there might be a slight gap, a bit bigger than normal. Uh, this particular bidet is fairly robust, meaning that this is uh, a bit thicker than some. So if you are of a heavier stature or heavier weight, this would suffice nicely. However, if you don't want this gap right there, uh, they do sell some thinner style bidets. But overall, that does fit. So once the bolts are in place, let's go ahead and put the nuts back on underneath to tighten it back down. Give the lid a little wiggle to make sure it's not going anywhere. Go ahead and snap down those covers. Now to the back of the toilet we go. Of course, you did turn off the water supply, but be sure to drain the tank completely. And now we're gonna go under here and we're gonna unscrew this. Be aware, a little water may come out, so if you wanna get some Tupperware or a bowl under here, that'd be a good idea. Now take the T adapter, wrap a little Teflon tape, also known as plumber's tape, around here. They do include a little uh, spool, which is awfully kind. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it right under here. Be sure to not over tighten this, especially if it's plastic on plastic. Just nice and snug, hand tight is usually pretty good. Now the water supply hose from the wall goes immediately underneath here on the very bottom. This bidet hose will now be attached to the T adapter and the other end will be going right into the bidet control module, which we put a little bit of Teflon tape on there also. That is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and turn on the water supply and test this. This is uh, kind of upside down because it's oriented as if you're actually sitting on your throne. We're going to keep it on rear and let's go ahead and open this up. Now it is going to shoot out so I need to put something up to protect myself. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Oh, yeah. okay. Got the wall. Oh boy. All right. That has quite a bit of pressure. Well, uh, I only barely put it up to like number two. That's amazing. Okay, so it works. By the way, the last little thing, just as a tip before you guys go. Now, of course, this is perfectly clean, so it's okay for me to touch with my bare hands. Obviously, you would be wearing rubber gloves normally, but this little door swings open and you can clean in there. Like, uh, let's say you've got some disinfectant of some kind, you can spray that in there and then scrub it dub dub and then you can just close it like that. So it's this nice little splash guard right there. Isn't that a great idea?